Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Dub programming series. So this is video 40.1. I was going to make 2D arrays in this video, but, but I decided not to do it yet. In the previous video we learned um, how to make a normal array like this. Um, so instead of using plenty of variables, you just have for a string, you just have an array of um, string. So let's tidy it up a bit. And here we just calculated the length of the third item in this in the array and convert it, convert it into a string and display it. And if you remove this, you know, if you remove this, then it will show us the length of the array, which is which is 18. Okay. So this is how to create an array, but you can also create you just add six items to it. Yeah. Uh, so this is how to create um, like a normal array, a static array, and then, it, and then assign variables to it or values to it. But now let's learn how to um, make constant arrays. Let's add a new button. This is button 2. 2. Okay. So instead of doing it like this, we can declare the values. Be, um, a different way. So we'll say I'm um, C O N S T. It stands for constant. I think it should constant. Okay, and then we basically say give the name. Let's give it the same name. We say array one to six of string. And then we can equals brackets, and here we set the values such as I'm just going to set my own values to it Sean result let's add names people I know Harrod Dennis oops Don uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 another one Let's add Jim. Okay. So let's add these names to those ones also. Just to make them look the same. So here we have a normal. Let's also display them in the label. So oops. One button and another button okay let's increase the font size a bit let's say um most caption just say normal static array increase the size a bit Make it, it's lining the top, that's better. Lining the top, change the height to printing. Oops, no, right there. Okay, and this button will be the constant array. Okay, and then under it, we'll just add normal memo, align the memo to client. Increase the font size and then after we've assigned the values, we say it's a bit small, you can see it. We just clear the memo, go clear, and then a simple for loop. Put it down one. Okay, let's say is for that string is for for loop so you can just simply say for is for let's call it one in relation to so this will go through all of the values in this array and then sort in the s for one you can also do it like this 
um, say 4 is for 1, uh, colon equals 1 to 6, do, and then just um, go um, for all of them. I'm not going to be doing that. I'll show a different way as well. So, number one dot, one dot add is for one. Okay. So, if you use this way at top, you have to add the following code here number one dot, one dot add. And then also remember that S41 here must be of type integer. So this one must then be S41 of type integer. If you want to do it this other way, so there it is. It's just a much better way of doing it like this. Okay. So if you compile now, you will see that to list all the values first normally and here it is exact, exactly the same we add a variable called s41 of type string we also actually move the begin and the end as it is only um, one line here we can do exactly the same for s41 in add string to and one dot one dot add this for one and just clear it here before we start okay oops why is there room uh, ah what am I doing let's see every message but oops, this should not be a constant, it should be no more variable. Okay, this is place and constant that I also displays, which is running from the top, as you can see. So, both, so both of these do exactly the same, except this one is normal array, and you assign a values like this, and you can also change it later in the program. Well, here you assign it at the start of the program and you can't change it later. For instance, um, you can't here try and change it because it's defined um, in design time um, this way. If you guys are compiled, you'll see an error. We'll say left side cannot be assigned to whatever you want to assign it to. So you cannot assign, you have to, it's pre designed. It's pre um, -designed. Like this, this basic difference between a variable array and a constant array. That's all I want to show to, to show today, guys. Um, the next video might be about 2D arrays. It might also not be. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. If this video helped you in any way, to make sure to oh, yes, to make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Anyway, before we end this video, guys, I would just like to add that I've created a blog about Apple programming. And I'll leave the link in the, in the description, so make sure to go and um, um, check it out. Also, we have a WhatsApp group, WhatsApp group now, without, without the programming. I also have the link in the, in the description. And Delphi 10.1 Berlin is still for free, the start edition, so you can go and get it. Get it. I'll also have the link in the description to the Delphi, um, Delphi, Delphi website. So you can click on buy, and then you'll see the start edition should be available for zero dollars. Or your current or your currency so make sure to get that as well and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye